Hey everybody, Brandon Costa coming to you from the floor of the Second Screen Sports Summit. We're here in New York City and we have the pleasure of being joined by Steve Bird. He's the Chief Commercial Officer from Sport Radar. Steve, thanks for being with us here today and being a part of this event. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. You moderated a panel today on fantasy sports and its integration and its impact on second screen and multi-screen sports. Uh, what were a couple of your key takeaways from the conversation in your mind? Well, there were, there were two things, um, and it was about fantasy and gambling. And one was that we're way behind in this country what they're doing with gaming in Europe on mobile devices, which is not surprising given the legality differences. But, like, over half of the betting is being done in the U.K. now on the mobile device with the in-play and in-running betting. So that was fascinating to see where the future is for us as betting becomes more uh, legal across the country. The second thing is, though, even though it's not legal, one of our panelists, Onside Sports, has an app with information and content geared for gamblers, not for fantasy players, and they've got a huge audience in this country. So the people are betting, it's just a question of where are they doing that betting and everything. I thought that was kind of kind of interesting as well. Great, great. And we, you took a pulse of the room, and everyone felt pretty confident that sports gambling would be legal outside of Nevada Within in five, five years. years. Right. Got to right. make you feel pretty good. Yeah. Uh, it's certainly getting more lax as leagues are becoming much more open about daily fantasy and all of that kind of stuff. So what does that mean for data analytics in the consumption of it, the distribution of it? Well, uh, uh, fantasy sports has been a key driver of the data business for years. And, and you know, uh, the uh, Fantasy Sports Trade Association just announced that the global universe of, or the North American universe of fantasy players has gone from like 43 million to 56 million. So as that happens and people play fantasy, they want more information. Plus, you have all the game companies who need the data to drive the actual games themselves. So as this boom in daily fantasy comes, there are so many sites now that are providing different sorts of content and analytics and predictive to help you play those games. So for companies that are in the business of providing the raw material to either content or games, it's a great time for us because there's just more people wanting what we have. Uh, that's a nice segue into my last question, which is uh, talk a little bit about Sport Radar. How do you guys kind of fit into this whole ecosystem that you're kind of talking about here? Sure. Well, the corporate uh, Sport Radar is based in Europe, and they drive a tremendous amount of business in the betting industry with the live odds that change throughout the match and allow the online bookmakers to take these in-running and in-play bets. What we're establishing here in the U.S. is a media and entertainment business to complement the betting business and we have the official NFL data feed which for the first time this year will include player tracking information so that's going to be fascinating to see what sort of content comes out of the player tracking that the NFL has and we're all about speed so the speed is critical for betting and the speed is becoming more and more critical for daily fantasy and frankly, just for content applications, mobile devices, you want to know the score as soon as it happens. So Sport Radar is was built on speed and accuracy for betting, and now we're transferring that into the general market for entertainment and technology. Steve, well, great job on your panel today. We appreciate you being a part of the summit, and uh, thanks for your support. No problem. Thanks for being here. All right. For more from the Second Screen Sports Summit, visit www.sportsvideo.org, and you can follow the event on Twitter at hashtag S3Sports.